Good evening, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to a new idea that I have to basically give an award and look back on what I call the gap of the month. So this would be for June. Obviously, we're in July here now. So I'm looking back at the gaps for the month of June to give the prize to the best gap. And it was tough because there was actually there was actually a couple. Uh, one that gets the gets the top top prize for gap of the month is Lulu. Lulu absolutely was the best performer in the month of June, uh, hands down, over and beyond everything else. When I went back and studied um, the plays for June, even the ones that had the nice follow through, and there was a couple that really really had good moves. Uh, Lulu gets it. Lulu really really gets it. The most important thing I want to point out looking at this chart here is that Lulu has held the high of the day of the gap. Look at that. And then it broke again and fell really hard the second day in. Fell off a cliff this day here and this really this day on the 21st and I'm going to go over the trade um, for this one here. When Lulu rallied back up here and did this topping tail you could have been short even in here as a new entry. And look, it held. I mean, this is just a beautiful chart. Look at that. So even with the market rallying, Lulu was holding at such an incredible weakness that it's not going over this area right here. And really, ultimately, the bigger picture for Lulu is that the gap that happened back in the beginning of June, the date was in June 11th. You know, the chart's lower. And the dip down in here may wiggle and jiggle a bit, but even with all the rallying that's been going on the market, Lulu can't get a lift and is holding the weakness here. And I have to look up when the earnings are coming out for this for third quarter. I don't know if it's July or August. Uh, but this is definitely going to be on my radar because to me, this is the best gap for the month of June on the place that it's set up, the day of the gap, the follow through for the gap, the overall general weakness of the chart, and the fact that it's holding so enormously well against what is right now a bullish market. And even here, even this day, it was just, just happening here in July. Look how this fell into itself here and then broke and got down through 64 on the 17th. There, there almost isn't anything that I could point out wrong with this. I'm trying to think if there's anything wrong with this at all. And when I was studying these to give the best prize, which is going to the Lulu here, um, th this, this gets it. I mean, this, I can't even think of anything wrong with this, to be honest with you. Worked on the day of the gap had the continuation, rallied back and, and triggered on a daily sell setup, based and triggered again in another daily sell setup, fell on through and broke, rallied back up into the resistance, held, triggered on a daily sell setup, fell on through, didn't break a new low, it doesn't matter, rallied back and did a retest, triggered on a daily sell setup, fell on through and is still looking great. And it's just, this is really a beautiful example of the golden gap strategy that I trade and teach and the power of the gap itself. Okay. The power of what happened here this day in June, very powerful. So let's look at the 21st because that was when it just had this most recent hard fall. Actually, you know, before we look at that, let's look at the bigger picture here. Now, if you wanted to do a swing trade in Lulu, this is the target down in here. It's about 52, 5175-ish. Really even 51 maybe, but I think 52 is most likely. So that's a swing target. So this was the 21st. Now, if you wanted to do this, this was a continuation gap, a follow through of the original gap. That's how you're playing in this. So you knowing that, if you're looking for a setup on this, you've got to get the numbers right on these continuation gaps for the entries or confirmation, 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 confirmation. How do you get it here? What does it do? 
Opens and shows weakness, gets a hard sell off, but you're not doing anything with this. You wait, wait, wait. It tries to get up on top of itself. It can't. This is aggressive, but here's the entry. Even if you didn't do this and you wanted to wait a little tiny weeny bit and just see if it was going to still hold, you could have waited and waited to the next reversal time, which is when? 945 into 10 o'clock and taken it here. Or you could have even taken it here. I mean, if you wanted to really wait till late. There was no guarantee you were going to get this set up, though, here at 10 o'clock. So the aggressive entry is here. All right. After that, you can take it in here at 945 or 10 o'clock. Either way, this never did any wrong. And it did give you a bunch of different setups. And if you had done it even in here, right at the 10 o'clock reversal time, it fell off a cliff. Look at this. And you would have been looking for the target on the day. Let me go back. Which, by the way, it actually went through. The target was 61. It went through the target and then actually went through 60 by 40 cents. It was a thing of beauty. Here it is. So it really started to run when it broke the new low in here when this happened. Like right under 62.50 was the number. And then it ran hard. and ran all the way down into 10.45 reversal time set up again, even if you wanted to do it again or hold it on down or just lower your stop and pivot it. But really, there, was, there wasn't a really exact place to lower the stop here. And if you really have conviction that it's going to go on through, you can hold it for more. The thing is that by this time when you're in this here, getting it down, you know that it's going to get to 60. So you'd be holding it down really for 60 more cents or possibly a bigger drop, not knowing absolutely for sure. Considering the fact that it got through the first area, you're probably going to stay in it longer to make sure that you get it all the way down. But this is one of these ones where you take care and you're up so much money you have to get out of it in the dip. You know, because it, it doesn't make any sense to hold something for 60 more cents. Um, you know, once you just made, you know, two and a half dollars. So the entries on this have been beautiful. Not, not only was the gap beautiful, but even every entry that this gave, every setup, had a beautiful place to take the entry, a beautiful place to put the stop. Every time this set up, it did. I mean, every day that this set up in here, it had great entries with great stops and risk to reward. And this is all based on one thing. It's based on the gap. When something is a strong gap, a good gap, a highly qualified rated gap, it works and into itself, even in the continuation gap setups, it will give and provide good, nice momentum moves with good setups, with tight stops, and good risk to reward. I mean, you could have just watched Lulu for the whole month of June and even still be watching it. You could just get up every morning and watch and play Lulu short and, and, and tell it tells you otherwise, literally. And it's a, such a nice chart. And this is absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, the gap of the month for the month of June. This gets the prize. This takes the cake. And if you didn't get to short this, if you didn't get any of the moves, you missed out. It was a beautiful play like a million times in here. And I think the interesting thing is that once you realize the quality in, in my rating system to find things to get the follow through to work, it, it's like opens up a whole new world for you because you could just do a new gap every day. You could find one really good gap like this and play it until it goes to the bigger to number, whenever it sets up on the day. I mean, you have so many different options with these things, whatever you want to do. And you'll find that when you can really sink your teeth into a gap that you love and that's paying you over and over and over and over and over again, you kind of do get the moves and the feel of it and you become friendly with it. The way that it moves, the way that it works, where the setups are, and you get used to it. So gap of the month is Lulu. Beautiful, fantastic, wonderful gap here on June 11th. So if anyone has any more questions or would like more information on the upcoming gap class, it's this weekend, July 20th and 21st. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestocksquish.com. Thanks, everyone, and have a great night.